In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to backup your DMA Soft Lab Radius Manager and restore it from the backup. Let's jump to the computer screen and start the video. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, you will learn how to backup and restore your DMA Soft Lab Radius Manager. So first of all, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, Please go ahead and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so you never miss out any upcoming videos. So before we start performing the step, first, you should know what you need to back up or what is required to be backed up. There are several things you can back up in DMA Soft Lab Radius Manager, but make sure what you need for the backup so that way you won't fill out all the storage of the server. With backups, this method is the manual method of backup. There are several paid backup services softwares, but we were using this free method and we'll try the best to save money and the hard drive as much as we can. Also, the backup will be saved in local drive. So the first step of the process is to create a folder for backup and we will copy these folders E to C user local, VARWWW and VAR libmiscal. These all folders will create a full backup for the DMA Soft Lab Radius Manager. This will include everything like your modified cards, ATTL pages, all the invoices and everything. The second method of backup in DMA Soft Lab Radius Manager is to take the backup of MISCL only. So that way you are only backing up the daily basis, updating users managers and services data. Let's perform the step. So first of all, log in your Linux server using Putty application with root user. Now we will create a backup directory for that. You type the command mkdir forward slash backup and then the next command. This command is for full backup. This will backup all folders mentioned after tgz. So this will create backup of all those mentioned directories. Let me change the name of backup file in case there is any other file available with the same name. So as we hit enter, it will start the process. Now it is processing to take the backup. We see some errors that backup cannot be processed completely. So let's check step by step with single directory at a time to figure out what is the issue. First, let me do the one with etc folder only. Next one I am going to do is with home root. Linux server can't find this directory. So that's why there was the error. Now I am going to remove this directory from the script. Let's press enter now and see. So now you see it was successfully completed. You can ignore soft ignored message it's showing up because this process is already running. So let's go to the directory and check the file size. You can see the backup file is created and the file size is 18 megabytes. The file size is very low because this is not any production server on your size. It can be bigger. So I recommend taking full backup when you update the theme of your radius manager or you add cards or you update the invoices for your DMA Soft Lab Radius Manager users. After taking this backup, you can mount a USB and copy the backup to the USB drive. OK, so now let's jump to the second method, which is going to be very small size backup. Because we are only backing up the data of users, managers and services only that you update on daily basis. So for this method, we, we use two commands. First one will create miscal dump. Make sure you update or replace your actual username and password of database. The second command will convert the SQL file in to the zip file to reduce the size of backup. Now let's paste the command in the putty. Let me update the password for that database. Now hit enter. We are in the same folder. Let's check if the backup is created. You can see the SQL backup file is created and it is already very small in size. But if you think on your server, it has a bigger size. You can use the second command to reduce the file size. I hope you have hit the like button to support my efforts. But if you not, make sure hit like button before you leave and subscribe the channel in the next video. I will show you how to restore from this backup. The video is already gone more than five minutes, I guess. And I believe the longer videos are boring. So I create stuff in chunks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you the next video.